In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Xbox startup error code E200. So the first thing Xbox support recommends is that you try restarting your console to see if that fixes the issue. So go to restart console and see if that does the trick. Now, if you're still having problems, we're going to have to go to safe mode. So what I want you to do is turn off your console, unplug the power cable from the back and wait a couple seconds. Now I want you to plug it back in and now we're going to turn on our console. But before you do that, press and hold the sync button and then press and hold the power button. Now, once you get the first beep from your console, you can let go of the power button. And then when you get the second beep on your console, you can let go of the sync button. Once you're in safe mode, I recommend you try downloading and updating your console using an offline system update file. So you're going to need a USB or external hard drive and put this update file on it and then try updating your console that way. If that doesn't work, I want you to try resetting your Xbox by keeping your games and applications. If this option doesn't work, I want you to try resetting your Xbox by removing everything and factory resetting your console. Now, if that doesn't work, what you're going to have to do according to Xbox support is bring it in for repairs either at a local shop or by sending it to Xbox.